early to go to Central Park because we're doing the off leash, except I don't know which way it is, but we'll figure it out. It's the first time he's been in the city. Oh, that's very true. Oh my gosh. I did. shape. We need to get all this cut and under here cut and his nails and all the things that are covering his eyes. Um, so this will be interesting. I don't know how it's gonna go. Hopefully good. Right Henry? Henry! Henry! <laughs> so yeah. Guess I'll see you after the group. Say bye, Chopin. Um, Eric just brought Chopin back from his groomer, and I'm so scared to see how he's gonna. Look. What if they made him look like a teddy bear? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. We can all get first impressions. There he is. Oh my gosh! Wait, he looks like a jindo. He looks so good. He does? Shobani! Shobani! Shobani, did you get it? Did you get it? you smell amazing and you're white as snow? They did so good. They did do it. He looks like a completely different dog. nails. He's so, like, white. That's all the dirt that was, like, his ears are so white and clean. They were never that clean. He can see! Oh my god, his butt looks so good! <laughs> oh my god, he looks like a completely different dog. Like, what the heck? Wow. Chopin, how are you? The nuclear, he's so soft. I don't know if you guys ever like noticed, but he was like, had really, um, he has wiry hair. But like, it's so soft right now. <laughs> Oh my god, like his head, like right here is soft. And now he has a neck. He has a neck now. Oh my god, look how clean his ears are. This is like all brown. Do you guys like, oh my god. Oh my god, Henry like wants to sniff him. <laughs> oh my god. Henry's like, where did you go? Oh my god, this is, I'm, Henry's never acted like this with Chopin. He's like, who are you? Henry, try to sell you up. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. So we are here around Columbus Circle because I am picking up an upgrade 
for my V2 shelf and I am so excited. I was eyeing this for a while and then before it got sold out from a different secondhand dealer. And so now I found it through Facebook Marketplace, of course. Um, so we're gonna retrieve it, bring it home and then install it. Excited. Here she is in all her glory. Oh, this is so pretty. Gorgeous. Yeah, I think so. Kind of after coming home, dropping it off, eating dinner, walking Chopin, um, I am finally ready to set up the shelf. I'm gonna have to move a lot of things here and then just kind of do like a trial and error. We set it up like this, but I just feel like it feels so high up. So we're gonna move all of this as low as possible. And then we had to move Henry's litter box, which is fine. And I think I'm gonna just put it in the room. Oh my God, it's so messy. <laughs> After moving around like literally everything, um, I think we have solidified where we are putting all things. Now I just have to kind of just redecorate um, and reset up the wall. I think I'm gonna have to think about what I put down here, um, but. I'm so excited to have this. It also comes with a key. Resident of a mansion with halls I'd never mention and rooms that I don't think I've ever seen. Skeletons in the closet. Right now we are practicing, oh it is so bright, we are practicing being calm. So we are just going to sit here, look around, and then get rewards for not reacting and looking at me. What can I do to help you feel the same for me? Baby, don't be unforgiving. Cause I already have no sympathy for myself And darling, I'd be more than willing To put my cold heart in your hands and let it melt Shout it in all your secrets With walls to hide your weakness a resolute but hopeless mystery But I can see through the surface You're alone to hide your loneliness And I know cause you're an awful lot like me So baby don't be unforgiving Cause I already have no sympathy for myself And darling, I'd be more than willing To 
Put my cold heart in your hands and let it melt so after my walk in the morning with Chopin, um, I stopped by Trader Joe's because I'm planning on making a bouquet for my mother as well as Eric's mom for Mother's Day and I picked up some really pretty flowers. So I got two different types of tulips because I kind of couldn't tell which one I liked better with these. And then this one is a peony tulip. I believe, does this one say, these are spray roses, but I loved the color, very light and neutral. And then um, I got some of these. They have like this little nice purple color, which I like, got these, these are like essential. And then I don't, I don't know, I feel like I've been using a lot of eucalyptus and stuff and I wanted something lighter and they had this, which looked really nice. So I got this for like greenery. Um, so I, I think, I don't really have a vision, but I do think that this, this will work. I have a good feeling about this. I am a little bit worried though, because it's 8.30 right now, and I won't be able to give one of them until tomorrow. Like, one of them I'm giving to my mom tomorrow. I don't know when I'm gonna see Eric's mom. <laughs> So, I don't know, but I'm scared that if I arrange it now, it, it like won't look as good, but I'm sure I'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I'm like, is it too early to arrange it now? Yeah, it's okay. Henry is going to be good and not go on the table and not go near these because he cannot. He just likes looking at the flowers. Staring at stars, watching the moon, hoping that one day they'll lead me to you. Wait every night, cause if a star falls, I wish to go back to the times that I finished the flowers um, I'm a little bit bummed because I feel like I picked really good flowers but I just picked too big of vases and so it just kept on looking sparse and I personally like a more minimal bouquet but this vase is not like minimal bouquet friendly I don't know but these are the flowers pretty 